Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of FSI DFS baseball coverage for Major League Baseball. This video will be covering the late slate for Saturday 417. Uh, we did another video for the early slate, so if you're looking for that, check out in our channel and um, you'll be able to catch that one. But this is a five game slate that starts at 705. It's um, a blessing that we don't have to worry about weather like we did on Friday where several games were canceled because we've got three domes in Southern California. So um, should be uh, a good day, good baseball. Um, problem is, is that we've got two really good ace pitchers, pretty high priced. Well, actually it's not too bad. The one's a 10 K and the other one's nine four, but they're pitching against each other. So what do we do there? How are you doing, McKinley? Yeah. Man, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, a Kershaw 10K. If you've been watching these videos, you know I was a big Kershaw hater uh, at the start of the season just because of how bad his spring was. He had an ERA over 10 in the spring. Now, obviously, you know, he's a veteran. He could have been trying some new pitches. But then he got rocked in his first start against the Rockies and Coors. Um but, you know, he's bounced back with two better outings that are, I, I think he's back to his 10K price tag. Uh, he took Sandy hitting had... Joey Votto and he put up 21 points on DK tonight and hit a home run finally. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's going against San Diego. They haven't been the offense that. And I did play a Cincinnati stack just without him. <laughs> you played a Cincinnati stack without, oh, with Alvado. Yeah. That's, that's, your, own, that's your own fault. That's your own fault. <laughs> Um, but yeah, San Diego, they just haven't been the offense that we kind of expected them just yet. Uh, but that was, they didn't have Tatis for a while. Tatis is back. Um, so, you know, I, I like Kershaw here though. He's only allowed one hit to lefties so far this entire season in his three starts. Uh, I'll just flip the coin. Righties are hitting like 330 against him though. So it, it all balances out there. Uh, but he, he's going against the mound against Darvish. Uh, we all know uh, Darvish is crazy, you know, K upside. He's a career like 11.1 K per nine pitcher. Uh, so the strikeouts are going to be there. Obviously, the Dodger bats are scary, but, you know, Darvish is the looking at the strikeout good. percentage in the league, though. Uh, the Dodgers? Yeah. Let me see. Sure. Uh, the Padres and the Dodgers are one, two in the <laughs> lowest strikeout percentage. Um, well, at least we sorry. have a park factor because it's not as much as it was like when the, this park was like an endless cavern, but it's yeah. a little bit more of a pitcher's park than if they were playing a Dodger stadium. So, yeah, I mean, Darvish, if you look at it, okay. I said he had three decent starts. His first start against Arizona, the numbers don't look good. But it was literally one inning. He, he was mowing down Arizona. The fifth inning hit, and he just got destroyed, and it ruined everything. You take away that one inning, and he's allowed one or fewer runs in in every other start that he's had this season. So at, at 67 degrees is going to be the temperature at game time, too. Actually, it's a little bit lower. It's uh, yeah, low 60s, Green. so it's not like it's an 80-degree day out there either. No. Green key, 8-7. I think he's priced perfectly. I don't, I don't love him. I don't hate him. I think he's just kind of there. Shoemaker, Shoemaker is having some uh, home run issues here. Uh, he, it happened. It started last season. Uh, he was giving up two point five home runs per nine. Uh, he had so, Toronto last year still, or was he on a different team? Uh, oh, just... you know, it was COVID. I, I can't okay. even remember. There's so many things going on. Well, because uh, just Toronto that... played in that smaller park in Buffalo behind you there. Yes. Yeah, that's right behind me. Um, yeah, he was in Toronto. So smaller park there. But, you know, in the spring, he allowed four home runs in 12 innings. He's allowed Sorry, three man, home I runs. He starts here. Home runs. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, um, the Angels are interesting. Uh, now he's got to go against these bats that can launch the ball, like Walsh and Trout, Otani. So I'm not interested in Shoemaker here. The one, the one guy who is cheap-ish that I am kind of interested in is Dunning uh, for Texas, going against Baltimore. Is he opening though? Because was isn't he like being paired with another pitcher? I don't. I didn't see any news of him opening. 
Um, obviously, that's something Texas that you, has some situation with two of their pitchers where like one of them goes like three innings and another guy comes in for three to four. But maybe it's not Dunning. But I mean, he, he pitched 70, 71 pitches on his last start, and that kind of seems he pitched 70 before that. So they might just be putting him at 70 uh, pitches. So if he's doing well, we're talking what five innings there. Yeah. Um, so if I mean at seven, five, I, you know, I think you might need the saving spirit pitcher possibly, but he's had two great starts against two strong offenses. He's gone against Toronto. He's gone against Tampa Bay. Uh, he had a really great uh, solid spring training and even, you know, his 2020 campaign was nice. Uh, he's got a decent K uh, potential there. He doesn't really allow the long ball. Um, with cash, I'd be a little bit nervous about playing him, but honestly, I think he's a great uh, play uh, in that price range there at seven five. Because everybody else is just, I, I don't have any interest. What about you? Do you have any interest outside of those top three and Dunning? I don't know. Maybe Brett Anderson against Pittsburgh. He doesn't strike anybody out. That's true. Like at seven two, he doesn't do a good enough job doing it on their own. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's not going to be striking out. He's not a K pitcher, you know. Apart from maybe one year ago when he was on like Oakland, uh, when he he had a decent K uh, rate, but I mean those pit bats can be can can be scrappy. They've been putting up some numbers here in the past week. Yeah, true. Uh, so. So I guess yeah. we just don't get cute here. We pretty much take Kershaw and, and Darvish, maybe mix and Granky. So a combination of two or the three and everybody else seems to have some kind of inherent risk factor. So, yeah. yeah. So where do we yeah. go for bats? Because if we're going to pay um, almost $20,000 for, it'd be nineteen four for just the pitchers that leaves us, um, well, about 4K per, per batter, so it's not horrible. Yeah, and, and that's where the fun comes in, uh, in, in building here, because there's a lot of great offenses and solid positions here. Uh, you and I, uh, we both love Minnesota, I know. Mm -hmm. Going against the lefty in Quintana, who is, just just look at his game logs. If you haven't looked yet, guys, look at his game logs. Uh, is 16. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so who knows what's going on with him? It, it's going to be one of those, like he gets lit up again and then they're just like, ah, we'll put him on the injured list with like a, a shoulder sprain or something to make yeah. it seem like, ah, he was just injured. Hey, no. if I doing bad. Uh, blister. the blister, yeah. it's the, the blister. blister. So that's happened to a couple pitchers so far this season. So who knows? Maybe it's going to happen to Quintana. Uh, but we love Minnesota, but man, they are pricey uh five two five eight buxton he's got that hamstring injury so who knows but six two um so it, it's tough to fit them in where you can find some salary savings buxton's and, actually had 18 bats against quintana and he's only hitting 167 so <laughs> if, if he's yeah but this is the him. new buxton this year oh, the true. new buxton yes. Yes. is is still injury ridden and can never Stay healthy and he was batting long. down in the order too. I think you know he he's got a little bit more protection yeah. now. So okay, good point. Good point. But um, Houston, Houston's got a COVID issue. They got a COVID outbreak going on. But the guys left outbreak are cheap. Or, or what? But Altuve's out. Bregman's out. Alvarez is out, and then you got Maldonado and Garcia as well. So really, Carlos Correa is kind of leading the charge there at four eight. Uh, Brantley at four five. I mean, Tucker, you're gonna get some backups there. Straw's a lefty, right? And we, yeah, what is Straw? Straw's two eight. If Straw's in the line, even if he's batting seventh, I'm probably gonna be putting Straw. He's gonna continue to lead off. He just has that speed, and this this is what they wanted him to do. He just had to hit the ball. So this is the perfect opportunity for him to show, hey, you know what, I can be at the top of this order and then they could just move El Tuve down to the second and just slide everybody down. I think that's what they wanted in spring training. We saw him up top quite a few yeah. times. He just couldn't, you know, get the hits, but I think it'll come. Definitely. He's got a lot of talent and blazing speed. Absolutely. Blazing speed. And if you're a fan of uh, patterns, he has alternated 
a stolen base and then not a stolen base and then a stolen base and not a stolen base in like so tomorrow? eight straight games. And uh, Saturday is a stolen base game if the pattern continues. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, if you like patterns uh, and you're not uh, worried about spending 2.8K uh, there. And, and Flexen um, isn't a good pitcher. So I no, played no. a ton Flexen of had a good last start. year and, and saw him get a lot, you know. And yeah. um, KBO stands for Korean Baseball Organization, but I really think the O stands for offense because when you go to select players and they're telling you like, oh, this guy might be a good player. He's got a 3.62 ERA, <laughs> you know, I think you can get into the Hall of Fame if your ERA is just a little bit below four there. <laughs> yeah, so Houston Bats, they might be throwing in some uh, backups there or they will be throwing in some cheaper mm -hmm. plays there. Uh, straw, yeah, yeah, straw, definitely probably going to be a helpful salary yeah. saving there. And the regular Brantley and T Tucker, they're left-handed. They have this wood advantage, so I, I definitely like them. And then the other, guy, uh, other team I'm, I'm going to be targeting is Pittsburgh. I, I highlighted them in the video for Friday, um, saying that I think they're going to do well, and they did do well. They put up six runs. Um, and I think it's the same thing's going to be happening here. Uh, they can be a scrappy team. They're not going to be hitting five home runs in a game. They're not that, nice they're players, not that nine. <laughs> Yeah, they're not that kind of offense. And that's the reason I love them is because they are super Free. cheap. Super cheap. Uh, so you can definitely play a Kershaw Darvish lineup uh, and then just stack the, stack the Pittsburgh bats here. Nice. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of refreshing, a slate that we don't have to worry about weather. We've got a couple nice pitchers up top, so we it's not like we have to pick one of these guys. We, we kind of know who, who to target it. And I think if we mix Grenke in there, too, for a little mm -hmm. different differentiation. But, yeah. yeah, it definitely makes sense. Get some Minnesota pieces we can afford. Um, pop in Houston bats, the value ones there, the lefties, and fill out with Pittsburgh, who – really cost nothing and you have a pretty nice lineup there yeah gpps maybe pick up some angels you know we talked about shoemaker having yeah. some, some problem and then maybe take some shots at the bats from the dodger san diego game because they're probably gonna have very low ownership based on the two pitchers and um you know like i don't know who you'd pick for pitchers in that game you'd probably have to take Granky and then maybe like I said Brett Anderson who doesn't strike out but he might not get you a negative score compared to some oh. of the other ones out yeah there. I'd be going Dunning over Anderson Dunning. just yeah, for that yeah, K, yeah, upside. K upside and playing against a worse offense okay so we're, we're going GPP Dunning Granky I can just see the line right now and then pick your Dodger uh San Diego but San Diego we want to focus on right hand bats not left hand bats right yeah, Kershaw has only allowed one hit to left-handed batters this okay. season. Three starts, one hit. Cool. Okay, well, we appreciate that. I um, appreciate you watching. Like we said, if you're looking for the early content or, um, you know, if it's not past 210 and you want to make some early lineups, check out our other video that uh, highlights that. Uh, Sundays are sometimes a difficult day for us to get a video out, so we don't know if we'll have one there. But um, check back on the channel. We'll let you know. It's a great time to suggest subscribing because if the videos do come out then you know you'll be able to see that they're there and be alerted to them we appreciate you watching and you know we want to try to provide this free content to you and i'm mega ruler 31 you can reach me out and hit me on twitter with questions or leave questions in the, the comments we check periodically through the day see if there's anything there just to try to get back to people who have asked us stuff and there's been some great you know um conversations i've had on um twitter and even in uh, our, our discord which is free to join at fsi dfs um you know the the room is premium where we give out the cores and like all the additional information but we cover a lot there and it's very reasonably priced so uh mckinley any final words of wisdom for the day nope i think uh everything we covered everything everything's pretty straightforward um just don't get too cute with the uh with the pitching on this uh, late slate, I don't think. Okay. Well, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Good luck.